What's up guys, Justin here of Yucatech and the new Vivo X50 Pro is shaping up to be one of our favorite smartphones to come out this year. What makes it interesting is its approach in attaining its flagship status. Not solely the chipset but also its premium design and insane camera hardware. Starting with that first one, I mean it's just a beautiful looking phone. The front has an almost bezel-less screen that curves almost seamlessly to the sides which then transitions to the nice glass back that has a matte finish. At this point, we then see the fashionable rectangular camera bump on the upper left that contains the X50 Pro's, well, X-Factor. The front is home to a 6.56-inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display that runs at a smooth 90Hz, which is definitely a great premium feature to have nowadays. You get smoother scrolling and navigation which is surely a treat for your eyes. Also here in front is the 32 megapixel front camera that allows you to take clear selfies. It's kept in a punch hole keeping the display pretty clean and free of bezels. And under the display, since this is Vivo, of course we get an in-display fingerprint scanner. Again keeping the design super clean but still ensuring solid security. At the bottom, of course, we have the Type-C port which allows us to use the fast 33 watts charging to juice up the sizable 4350 mAh battery. On average, we were able to use the device for a day or a day and a half when using the standard 60Hz refresh rate. With the 90Hz refresh rate on, it can manage a whole day with light usage and occasional gaming. But what's all that battery capacity for if you don't have performance? The Vivo X50 Pro runs on a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G chipset with 8GB of RAM. Granted, it isn't a flagship chipset like the 865, but it'll probably be more than enough to give you great performance for your everyday tasks, as well as heavier tasks like gaming. And then let's not forget about the 5G connectivity it brings. We tested out games like Asphalt 9, Call of Duty Mobile, and Mobile Legends, and the Vivo X50 Pro handled them like a true champ. The gameplay was very smooth with virtually no lags or stutters. But now, back to the X50 Pro's cameras. The X50 Pro's rear camera module contains a bunch of great hardware which includes a 48 megapixel Sony IMX598 main camera, a 13 megapixel portrait camera, an 8 megapixel periscope telephoto, and an 8 megapixel ultra wide lens. Now, this hardware is just the rock that the X50 Pro builds its photography chops upon. So let's check out the Vivo X50 Pro's awesome camera features. As we all know by now, having a 48 megapixel or more main camera gives you the ability to produce highly detailed images with a ton of image data packed into the shot, allowing for better noise reduction, better color, and sharper details of course. Next, we have the portrait camera which is pretty unique in its own right. Vivo modeled this after a professional 50mm f2.0 prime lens which is a favorite among both professional and amateur photographers due to its depth of field and perspective that's closer to the human eye compared to other focal lengths. Along with Vivo's subject background algorithm, portrait shots with the X50 Pro are superb. Now this brings us to the next camera which is definitely one of the X50 Pro's most highlighted features. I'm talking about its periscope telephoto camera. Now this stack of lenses already provides you up to 5 times optical zoom which is way better than most telephotos out on the market, which max out at just 2 times optical. But what this allows you to do is to zoom in even farther, digitally, up to 60 times digital zoom. Understandably, quality and sharpness goes down when you're zooming in this far. But again, not a lot of phones out there even have this capability to begin with. Additionally, we also have the ultra-wide lens that allows you to take wider scenes at a similar quality as the main sensor, with almost no distortion. I personally believe a strong ultra-wide camera is the second most important thing a smartphone's camera system should have. And the one on the X50 Pro doesn't fail to deliver. But let's talk about another main camera feature of the X50 Pro that will literally brighten up your experience. The superb night camera. A lot of other phones would simply just include a night mode in the camera app, but it's almost as if the X50 Pro is built for this. The Sony IMX598 main sensor is 10% more light sensitive than the previous IMX582. And thanks to the AI denoise algorithm, the X50 Pro's extreme night vision kicks in when it detects a lot of darkness. We even get the starry sky and super moon photo modes for the times when you wish you could just capture the beauty of the night sky. 
Well, if you had the X50 Pro, you could definitely do that. Now, aside from Vivo's AI denoise algorithm and the camera sensor itself, its low-light prowess would definitely not be possible without this one feature. It's definitely the X50 Pro's selling point, the gimbal camera system, which we're dedicating an entire video to check that out. But how this helps the night mode, since it allows the camera to be so stable, it basically allows the shutter to be open for longer. In turn, more light is allowed to reach the sensor. And as you saw, the results definitely speak for themselves. So that about wraps it up for the Vivo X50 Pro's best camera features. Again guys, we're gonna be making a separate video focusing on the phone's gimbal camera, so stay tuned for that. And let us know what you think in the comments below. Plus, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Justin, and don't forget to wash your hands and stay at home.